Coming up on the weekend wrap-up season opener, we'll cover the Mighty Deck 3 and East Tex from Remington Park and the West Texas Maturity at Sunland. Hello again and welcome to another season of the Weekend Wrap-Up. I'm Jim Byers. We'll be here for the rest of the year covering quarter horse racing's biggest races and fastest horses. Speaking of which, many will be on display this spring at Remington Park. The Oklahoma City track opened its American Quarter Horse meeting on March 9th, and it continues primarily on a Thursday through Sunday basis until June 2nd. The only exceptions are no racing on Easter Sunday, April 1st, and a special Memorial Day Monday card on May 28th. Among the major races to look forward to are the Grade 3 Oklahoma Futurity March 24th, the Restricted Grade 2 Remington Park Futurity April 21st, Older Horses in the Grade 1 Leo Stakes April 28th, and Top Oklahoma Breds in the Restricted Grade 1 Sooner State Stakes May 5th. Closing day June 2nd offers multiple graded races, including the Million Dollar Grade 1 Heritage Place Futurity and Grade 1 Remington Park Championship. At Remington Park on opening night, it was a stakes doubleheader, starting with state breads in the Mighty Deck 3. This restricted grade 3 at 250 yards has a purse of $65,500 for three-year-olds and up. The seven to two second choice is Raren, a frequent winner at lower levels who stepped into stakes company last fall in New Mexico. Six to one shot knock him out Cappy is familiar with stakes company, but seeks his first added money win for trainer Alfredo Gomez and a local ownership group. The 9 to 5 favorite is multiple graded winner AJ's High. He's back in his home state for his first outing since running third in the Bank of America Championship October 14th at Prairie Meadows. As usual, Stormy Smith has the mount. They're off in the Mighty Deck 3 stakes. Away sharply. AJ's High, a little contact, comes away well. Raren is right there also. 100 yards to go, it's Raren on top. Between runners coming on. Knocking out Cappy. AJ's High, Raren. Raren takes to the Mighty Deck 3. Raren loves Remington Park, and he's tough when he stays out of trouble, as he did on this night under Roberto Moraz Jr. AJ's high closed within a head of the winner with knock him out Cappy third. Now six for eight lifetime in Oklahoma City. Raren is a six-year-old gelding by Inseparable out of the rare form mare Rare KO, bred by Kathleen Mady. Raren is owned by Jesus Estrada and trained by Fernando Carrete. Time on the fast track, a rapid 12.912 seconds, a 106 speed index. Another triple digit speed index comes from Saturday's Grade 3 West Texas Maturity at Sunland Park. The Gray is 2016 All American Futurity winner Imperial Eagle, taking this 100 grander by a neck in 19.086 seconds for 400 yards. That's a 102 SI. Imperial Eagle is trained by Tony Cedillo for Christina Robinson, Escar Ramirez aboard. Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by the American Quarter Horse Association, Remington Park Racing Casino, and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com. The career of the great East Tex was over by the time Remington Park opened, but since he lived out his later years in central Oklahoma, he would often lead the post parade for the race named in his honor. East Tex passed away in 2013, but the AQHA Supreme Racehorse is still honored each year with the Grade 2 East Tech Stakes at RP. And this year's edition was on March 9th. It's 350 yards for three-year-olds and up, with a purse of $51,100. Five to one third choice, Dawn's first Desirio ended 2017 by winning three of his last four at Prairie Meadows. He returns under Cesar Gomez. Tough to be has won half of his 14 starts and has never been off the board. Ricky Ramirez up at 2-1. Even money favorite Bruce Almighty brings a three-race winning streak into the East Tex, including a stake score in January at Sunland. His new regular rider, Roberto Moraz, is up. They're off for the East Tex Stakes. 
Bouncing start for Moore to be bad. Away sharply, the gray Bruce Almighty now grabs the lead. Don's for some serial challenges inside, outside trying to come on. This cap shot cap hooks. Bruce Almighty, here's tough to be with a rally. Tough to be coming on strongly late. Final yards, Bruce Almighty wins another one. Bruce Almighty shrugs off a bump at the start and speeds to a neck victory over Tough to Be and Dawn's first Azario. Trainer Fernando Corrette and jockey Roberto Moraz Jr. sweep the opening night stakes. Now seven for 16 lifetime, Bruce Almighty is an Arkansas bred son of Ivory James and the mayor B.R. Regal Gal, who's by a Regal choice. The winner was bred by Jailbait Incorporated. Adrian Cano is the winning owner. The time, 17.336 seconds. You're not just my horse, you're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, Remington Park Racing Casino, and by the American Quarter Horse Association. Remington Park hosted trials on Saturday for the longest-running futurity in American quarter horse racing, the Grade 3 Oklahoma Futurity. The 77th running of this fixture is March 24th. And topping the qualifiers from the dozen trials is Pop's Tempting Wagon. This $15,000 Heritage Place yearling purchase easily scurried to a time of 15.414 seconds for 300 yards. Guillermo Valdivia is the trainer. That's all for this week. I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for joining us. We hope you'll catch us next time here on the Weekend Wrap-Up.